Well, hello, commanders, engineers, uh, city planners. Uncle Jay here. We are uh, back on Pertam. We hopped on a shuttle for the moon. And uh, yeah, I am standing on in thrust. We trust Proto 3. That's right. The third prototype. And uh, it's going to be the last one. And behind us are the canyons I was looking for. So uh, let's go over what was done and uh, we'll do some uh, testing and uh, yeah, have some fun. All right, guys. Um, now we are at the racetrack, which is pretty far away from the airfield. Let's actually turn our signals off for right now. Um, changes I've made. There was a prototype 2 and there was a prototype 2.7 where I tried taking the uh, hover engines off and tried different um, ways to uh, break the uh, our speed limit. So what is happening is the atmospheric mod, dr the drag or the resistance on these thrusters is what's keeping us from uh, reaching speed. So we, uh, I added boosters. We have six hyd hydrogen tanks, O2 H2 generator, and now these are all from the uh, small ship mega mod pack. So we are now up to three mods. Um, this one is a times 25. This is a times 10 thruster. So here is 35 small hydrogen thrusters. Same on this side. And then our hover engines which to fit these in here, I had to remove one of these. So right now, the only thing connecting these two are um, this piece right here. So I kind of, we've lost our double rigid rigidity, but at the speeds we're going, I don't think it really makes a difference. I really don't because I, I feel that these are necessary. These heavy armor skids are just necessary and let's not get sucked into the engine. All right. Sorry, it's still early for me. I know. I love I love recording these in the morning. So, um, getting this hooked up, I'm not gonna lie, it it, it sucked. It really sucked. There's uh, a lot of. It's very it's a very clangy vehicle. It's very hard to control. Um, you got subgrids on subgrids with a script, so there is a um a latency issue with control um, input versus output. And then if you have a potato of a computer like me, the game hangs up, slows down, and it just makes things worse. So, yes. So I guess the best thing to do right now is to, uh, let's hop in. Now damage is still turned off right now, but we are in survival. So let me, uh, menu, this menu hasn't changed. This one has, I added the uh, generator and tanks on. So let's take the tanks off of uh, recharge and let's unhook from the base. Tab three, I put all of our subsystems or yes, uh, exhaust, antenna, lights, batteries and reactors for each pod and then nothing else on any of the other tabs. So. Word of advice is to turn the hover engines on first, because if you don't, I'll show you what happens if you don't. You turn these on first and then turn on these. This is what happens. And I don't know if this will come apart with damage turned on. So yes, I suggest turning on your hover engines first. And Let's see, 1.5, 2 point, 2.5, 3.5. We're just kind of getting off the ground. 4.0 is pretty much just hovering off the ground. That's where I suggest um, running it. Because when you're under thrust, you're going to be flying off the ground anyway. And, um, we're using the aerodynamics mod. So if you're not using the aerodynamics mod, it's going to handle different from how it handles here. I just prefer to do it this way with the mod. I just think it's um, more appropriate. 
and you're going to be doing a lot of um, wiggling and jiggling and, and uh, I guess maybe maybe five point on the hover engines might be a better idea. But let's try to get into uh, try to get in some kind of starting position. No, let's just turn the hover engines off right now. And let's turn off those engines. <laughs> yes, yes. Very, very clangy. Alright. Um I added a event controller here. I think we should go over that. Let me sit in the seat so we're not burning hydrogen. Event controller. Uh block integrity. And um where are my selected blocks? Why aren't they in here? I know I've done this. I know I've set this up. Why aren't they in here? Okay, I guess we're setting it up again. Um, come on. Timer block. Timer block. Hydrogen tanks. Large. Left thruster. There we go. Add blocks. I don't know why they're missing, but these are the ones we want to detect if, uh, you know, I mean, it's 50%, but the speeds and the way this works is this whole pod is just going to disintegrate when you hit something. So it's safe just to disconnect the whole thing because the way this is set up, there's no way you're going to really be able to fly on one thruster. It's just, you're going to flop around. You're going to lose your, uh, your triangle, um, integrity. I guess that's the only way to say it. The angle of the dangle will no longer fangle. Hmm. So it'll activate the, uh, the emergency trigger. Yes. Oh boy. I'm having difficulties. All right. Uh, I guess let's just go for a ride with, uh, we want to do damage off, damage on. I haven't done it with damage off yet. You know what? Screw it. Let's do it with damage off. Let's let's go. Let's go full Monty. Death, destruction. Why not? This this may be a very very short flight. Uh, nope. All on. Uh, hover engines on. Turn these on. I'm going to increase this to five just to give us a little bit of a safety margin. And there are trees on this course. So, uh, yeah, first we're going to do this without the boosters just to see how this handles. Now I did do a world cleanup so I could, um, get some performance cause I was definitely having some uh, lag. So right now at this speed, it's, it's pretty manageable. It, it's not too bad with not hit the walls, but the hardest part is actually staying in the canyon or the trench or however you want to call it because of the input lag and uh, the way my computer is. Now, if you got a nice beefy computer, you might not have a problem with it with any lag whatsoever. But for me, it's an issue. And uh, yes, that was a close one. But I mean, overall, I think that the proof of concept works, you know, I'm happy with that. In fact, I'm happy enough that I will put this one on the workshop. Cause I know some of you mentioned that you would like to play with it. Just gotta, you know, keep in mind that, uh, yikes, 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 yikes. You need, uh, you need mods. It won't work without mods. So yes, that actually might've been a good spot for a finish line. Hmm. Oh, 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 no, no, yes, yes, no. Oh, and there's a turn coming up. There is a very steep turn. I haven't done this turn yet. Can we hug the corner? Oh, no, 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 no. Um, okay. Um, why didn't the timer block and the event controller activate? Hmm. Well, the magnetic plate worked. Uh, event controller block integrity equal or greater to 50. Um, 
timer. Hmm. I don't get it. It didn't even, it didn't disconnect at all. It didn't even try. Hmm. I'm not happy about that, guys. I am not happy about that at all. All right, let's just uh, delete this one. And uh, we'll do a reset, but uh, yeah. What's this? Ooh, uranium num 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 subs. So this, uh, <laughs> man, did that leave a hole. I think we need to try this again with the boosters and uh, see what happens. But yeah, I mean, there's definitely there's definitely some danger involved. You know, it, it's let's just fly over the course real quick. Now, I was going to make a full course with signs and a starting grid and all that fun stuff. And I might I probably might still do that with um, for like an intro video or something. But uh, yeah. I mean, lots of trees on the course. Yeah, I mean, the hardest thing is definitely to, uh, to stay in the trench here. That is the hardest part. And there is uh, side shoots. Actually, let's get some altitude here. You guys can see this whole, this whole area where we're at on Pertam. Because there is a couple of of these so you can you know this area you can make a course or you know uh, yeah I deleted all the stations to free up some PCO and some resources it, it helped a lot so I want to spawn in a another one actually we should turn damage back off just to be on the safe side and let's come down here uh, F10 Row to three point one or no three point one that's the one we want because this has the updated uh almost has the updated everything. Oh, I got it stuck in the ground again. Damn it. Yeah it, it if that any of that green box touches the ground it thinks you're trying to stick it in the ground and even though none of the ship is physically in the ground but that's the way it is which is why I suggest turning damage off when you spawn this in because you have to drop it you have literally have to drop it in there you go there we go and hopefully the sound is okay with my voice I turned the game down again I've been using the microphone a lot closer to my face than I normally have been because just trying to get a little bit more bass Alright, um, that's loud. I'll edit that down in, uh, okay, okay, actually, hold on, F2, configurable parameters, environment, characters, audio, uh, tools, production facilities, Engines and propulsion. Uh, is there one for cockpit? Oh, wait, that's right. It won't, these won't uh, take effect until next time you load the game. All right, um, what were we doing? We need to K menu event controller add back in our blocks add blocks threshold 50% I guess it doesn't matter block integrity equal or greater than all right oh let's make sure our setup actions trigger now emergency timer actions let's take that off all 
All right, we'll leave that there. And then our battery. We're just gonna put it on auto and then just, just leave it. We're just gonna leave it on auto. That could be the problem, I don't know. And then we're just gonna do control B to update our blueprint. All right. So hopefully this will be the blueprint that will be published. Um, stockpile off. All that looks good. All that looks good. Um, hmm. I probably should save the blueprint with stockpile off. All right, now we're just rambling. Let's hover engines on. Let's go with 4.0. Let's go with 4.5. Main engines on. Stabilizing thrusters on. Boosters on. Um damage on and we still have death on and let's turn that off right now all right guys here we go three two one oh clang oh lord clang um something something okay i'm not really good at singing i'll just shut up right now no, 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 no. Yes. Yes. No, no, yes. Maybe, maybe. Rotate, rotate. Stay in the trench. Ro over rotate, over rotate. Ah. Um. And the emergency system still didn't work. Um, well, we're flying half a pod. Why didn't the emergency systems work? What is going on? This, this, ain't, this ain't right. I've tested these. I've tested these, they worked. So, why are we still attached? Why are the parachutes not out? Um. <laughs> All right, apparently I still have uh, some testing to do guys before this is a viable blueprint to, uh, to publish. I, I don't know, is it a, um, check that out. Look at, look at this guys. <laughs> I, I don't know. I don't know what to say. I mean, well, we can still fly this on just boosters. Uh, power down. I'm not going to say this at the end of the video, but for right now, I have a few things to figure out. So until then, commanders, engineers, city planners, this is Uncle Jeff. <laughs>